Welcome ladies and gentlemen again to another discussion of track side where we discuss track and field news and here again we have typical Tyrrell TV linking up with yeah. sports circle again yeah let the people yeah. hear a typical Tyrrell yeah man blessing my people I don't know typical Tyrrell link up with sports circle you know you know when the two will link up and I know nah man you get me yeah. low on track content you know yeah. Uh, this is the collab that we are trying to do to you know link up a little bit more and tonight straight away we want to discuss three jamaican mm-hmm. athletes there is a lot that we could say um you know where athletes are concerned but we want to just zero in on three of them akim blake kishane thompson and oblique civil we want mm-hmm. to talk about those three and their chances of meddling at this 2024 Paris Olympics. Paris Olympics. What are your yeah. views? Um, typical theory right off the bat. Well, for me, right, Paris 2024 is definitely a very important year. I think it's a year where in which a lot of athletes, athletes will showcase their best, definitely their best this season. If five years ago they were struggling or last season, last season they were struggling. I believe that this season they are definitely gonna use this season season to make up for their poor poor performances and definitely those three at least that we're gonna talk about now I believe have huge potential to dominate at this year's Olympics. Okay, um the first name we want to discuss tonight is Akin Blake. And oftentimes yeah. people mixing up the two Blake with Johan Blake and Akeem Blake. But we are talking about the number <laughs> of the two, which is yeah. Akeem Blake. Akeem Blake is just 23 years old. He was born in 2001. And he's a member of the Racers Track Club. And uh, no, he's not a member of the no, Racers no, Track no, Club. No, 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 no. Michael Freitas, uh, Steve. Yes, Michael, Freitas, Michael Freitas, Freitas. What's the name of the Titan? The Titan. The Titan. The Titan. Yes, yeah. and I watched him train the other day and the young man look is looking wonderful on the track. His best time mm-hmm. is what, 9.89 seconds and I'm sure that this season he's going to erase that. This boy have something special planned for this year. What do you think about that? I mean, Akin Blade, as I said, um, he's 23, he's young and he's a talent that we have been watching like for the past two seasons now and I believe that this season is a season for Aki Blade to actually like you know showcase his talent and to actually show the world that yes Jamaica men sprinting is back on track right um earlier this earlier this year um he participated participated in a few 60 meter races and definitely he was like a force to reckon with and he was able to get got to get a um a bronze medal if i'm yeah, correct yes he got a bronze medal yes. yeah he was up against christian coleman fred curly and mm-hmm. noel eyes um fred curly very good at least um, yes christian coleman and no noel I, I i i said that he was competing against oh, okay so good, he good. was against a yeah, I was I wasn't talking about the final like oh, okay. final. Only, good, good. I was talking in general like it was yeah. around a few great athletes. Sure. Right. So, and definitely to get a bronze medal, um mm. it's amazing. Yes. So um I and so I believe that this season is a season for Aki Blake to show the world that hey, the Jamaican men's mm. team is back. Mm. Yes. <laughs> A little thing though that I noticed a few seasons is that is following Akeem Blake though. He has he's been injured like two times two times and mm-hmm. it has kept him out of you know major events. What do yeah. you think um this time around the conditioning of Akeem Blake should be like? What do you think that the coach should go about um conditioning Akeem Blake knowing that you know he was at a high and then he got the injury and then it kind of set him back how you think the coach should um approach this season with akeem blake i mean so far he has started the season well in my view as i said before he got a bronze medal right um 
he's running some really fast times in the 60 meters right i haven't seen him outdoors as yet but i believe that outdoors we're gonna see him like going below that nine eight that nine eight nine that he has as a pb in the 100 meters right definitely um the coach i think he has a plan i don't i don't know exactly what's the plan but so far what they are doing is pretty good and i think that he has now the right mindset going into this year's olympics I, I didn't he participate in the Miramar meet, meet um a few days ago and got a second place behind the American? Didn't he participate? Um, I'm 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 not yes, sure. You know, man, I, and he ran in 10, 10 something man, ten thirty something. He came second. The American just edged him out on the line. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, man, he ran okay. he I, ran a couple of days ago. Okay, I, I I didn't know, you know, I, I have a life outside of chat, so <laughs> I I am not like one hundred percent into the sport, however I, I watch this sport and read a few times. So I'm basically abreast with it but not you know, not mm-hmm. everything. I'm I'm not abreast with everything. Right, yeah, so. right, 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 right. So what about um oblique civil? Oblique civil um Again, like Akin Blake is plagued with injury. I think Oblique Oblique is more so because from the days of Karifta, Oblique Sivin is struggling with injury. But I believe that Oblique to me is mm-hmm. the best sprinter that we have now. Given if he's mm-hmm. fit and he's ready, I think he's the best ace man that we have now to win a, a, a medal right now. What do you think the approach should be with his coach? Because Oblique is very iffy. Honestly, it's very iffy for Jamaica right I now. Mean, what do you think the, um, the approach should be with Oblique Civil I this mean, season? I mean, I, I, Oblique Civil is, is the better of the two athletes, right? It's definitely the one to me that has more experience because oblique civil has made a few finals and came forth twice at the previous two world championships he's mm-hmm. the better of the two athletes he has a faster faster pb 9.86 and and i believe that he can go faster right um when he ran that blister in 9.86 he had slowed down a few meters yes before the line which means or or which means that it's a strong indication he can go faster right oblique civil is under the tutelage of glenn mills and glenn mills um coach like the the fastest and the second fastest man in track and field history glenn mills was bold coach at the racers track club and also your own blaze coach so glenn mills is one of the greats and glenn mills as we all know knows how to manage athletes so the approach this year is just to let him get race sharp and race fit and i think mentally he needs to work on the mental aspect of oblique civil right oblique civil to me has not produced its best in those finals and and that's the reason why he has not received a medal as yet right his pb is 986 and so far he has not like would say like eclipse it or showcase that hey i can produce this time whenever it's needed and so far we have not seen that so the mental aspect for me glenn Mills need to work on oblique civil in order for him to prevail at this year's olympics yeah and oblique civil is he has age on his side because he has been around a little while but he's still 23 years old and he has time Wrong. he has time to to to, to mature True. and what i realized this season public has put on a little bit more body his physique is a little bit more jamaicans would say a little bit more bulky you know and mm. you can see that he has a little bit more muscle so i'm thinking that he's ready to run fast 
this year. I my, my only and to be honest, my money is on Oblique Seville. I've been watching that young man from Calabar days, and I have mm -hmm. great hopes for Oblique Seville. He has a killer tap end speed, and it's not like oh. the other guys that after 80 meters he start to regress and his farm farm fall apart he's managed to hold his own and hold his stopping speed and hold his body mechanics together to the line mm -hmm. and this is one of yeah. his strong point to hold his race yeah. together i just want him to be in good health and good condition because mm -hmm. i know he's going to medal and he's going to do good he ran the 200 and i see him see a post this evening that people are saying now that oh he is this 200 meter runner but i do not want um um public civil to get you know miss you know get off track i want him to do well to do well in the 100 and this is the race i want you you know, i know his coach is is, is a top class anyway he's not going to be distracted by that because i know running the 200 is just working on his speed endurance for that and mm -hmm. we all know that just working on his yeah. speed endurance yeah. um on to the next athlete i want to talk a little bit touch a little bit on kishane thompson and <laughs> yes. kishane thompson burst on the scene in 2023 at that finals at the um the in well, that an invitation it was um the jamaican trials that he yeah he saw him yeah and he yep, ran yep, a, yep. yes and he ran a 9.91 there and everybody has whooping like this what yeah. kishen thompson yeah on a 9.91 yeah. and we started hearing mm -hmm. about him but he has not competed a lot since 9 2003 and then he went True. to the Zyman diamond league and he run mm -hmm. he, he, he competed and he ran a 985 second 9.85 second right. behind christian coleman in which i mm -hmm. love his top end speed there because as he goes to the line he was increasing in speed and i love that about him and his form he has very good form what do you think about um, um kishane thompson uh kishane thompson kishane very good talent promising talent amazing talent the fastest jamaican last year and a 9885 that you mentioned that could have given him the silver medal in the 100 meters in Budapest. <laughs> yes, Correct. Kishane Thompson is, to me, is a very good athlete. He is under the tutelage of Steve Francis, and we know Steve Francis is a very, very great coach. Arguably the best because him and Glenn Mills is in the same bracket, right? I'll be the best coach. So I think he's under the right tutelage, under the right management. Very good athlete, but there's one thing that I have a problem with Kishin. Can you guess? Um his lack of race races. Uh no. One more I'm gonna give I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you one more try. Um, one more try. Because I've not seen him run a lot, it, it, <laughs> it, it, it is puzzling to me. Uh, you know? Tell me right. what it is. I'll, all right, he's a very injury prone athlete. Oh, hence why you're not seeing seeing him in a lot of races. Okay, I see. Remember, a... remember, mm. at the Jamaica trials, he won. He ran one race. Yes, and he ran a blistering nine point nine one mm. seconds. The reason why he didn't go to the semifinal is the fact that <laughs> Steve Francis is trying to manage the athlete well. Okay. Because he's very injury prone. Nice. He said he said that in like a few interviews that he had like a hamstring injuries and uh, 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 other few injuries. Hence why you're not seeing him as often as you or as we would have liked. So. Oh injuries is the thing that i have a problem with him and we all know what injuries can do mm. injuries is is something that can mm. damage an athlete and can hinder an athlete to reach their full potential so injuries is this is the thing i have a problem with he's a very injury prone athlete so steve francis is trying to manage an athlete well 
Well, I, I, in order to get the best out of him. Okay, I didn't even know that he was injury prone. No, I'm looking at it and it made sense. And that leads us to another um point that is not mm-hmm. only these guys. We see oblique Seville struggle with injury. Now Kishane Thompson, uh, we have seen Akeem Blake struggle with injury. We have seen Johan Blake. Uh, we have seen a, a whole host of Jamaican athletes. Elaine mm-hmm. Thompson struggle with injury and after injury, it's like uh, it's difficult for them to come back and be where they were. Do you think that yeah. Jamaica should invest in, in, in helping this coach? I know we mentioned it the last time, the, the, the mental aspect of, of, of yeah. our athletes because we see where they are defeated before they come on the track what do you think that can be done do you think that they need to assign somebody um to the, to the, to the track and field fraternity in jamaica where these athletes are concerned to help them um mentally uh, i mean yes they, they should like like you know seek therapy seek mm-hmm. help because the mental aspect of an athlete is very important. We have seen the athletes over the years, right? They are they are running the best times of their life, and when it comes down to the most important point, when which they should like replicate those performances, they always like crumble and. Yeah. Asava Powell is the epitome of this. Asava Powell, is, yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Asava Powell to me is mm-hmm. just the perfect sprinter in terms of like mechanics, mm-hmm. like that guy oh my god Best. his form is amazing but sub ten, sub when it comes down to yeah sub 10 k when it comes down to the, to the time when which he should like showcase showcase um major his events form and, and you know time to like show the world say hey i'm one of the fastest man in the world and definitely i'm gonna get this gold medal when it's that time for him to show up he did it because of the mental aspect of the athlete so definitely like see at least those athletes need to seek like therapy like you know seek help where the mental aspect is concerned all right in in, in closing though we um yeah. i'm going to answer something in closing we have yeah. kishane thompson akim yeah Blake, and a big mm-hmm. civil yeah what is your prediction for the Paris 2024. <laughs> which two or which of these three you would think you are thinking to make that final 100 meters? Oh, I know I'm putting oh, you on the spot. The Just final. make a yeah, yeah. Don't make in the finals. Yeah, yeah, definitely putting me on the spot. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Oblique Civil is the one that has the most experience out of the three at least. Kishane Thompson is the one to me that is like the most promising out of the three and Akeem Blake is like I would just rank him last <laughs> after three. So um I believe that all three have the vocation, have the potential mm-hmm. to make that 100 meters final in Paris. Definitely, but there are a few things as I said earlier and that they need to work on like the injury aspect mm-hmm. and the mental aspect so if they work on those mm-hmm. and based on their performances leading up to mm-hmm. the olympics that can definitely tell me if they are ready to like medal at this year's olympics right right all yeah. three can make the final i'm not mm-hmm. doubting anyone but they have a few things that they need to work on that's my opinion and so, so what situation. about what about the rounds? Do you think Kishen Thompson will manage the round? Because you mentioned earlier that he's very prone to injury. Because there's a lot I'm, of rounds in the 100 to run. I mean, I mean, I, 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 there are only like two rounds before the final. Mm-hmm. I mean, I say as I said earlier, and Steve Francis is yeah, the yeah. man. Well, yeah. The myth. Mm-hmm. The Steve Francis is the man. The myth. The legend yes. that is controlling this athlete. So. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I'm expecting great things from Kishane in terms. Mm-hmm. So, three races, or should I say, two races before the final is is the least mm-hmm. <laughs> for him to go okay. and you know try him. All right. Thank you, Typical Terrell, for your your analysis and your 
you know your professional insight on this on this matter because i know it is a talking point um, among many sports youtuber about youtubers about these uh, the jamaican mm -hmm. athletes and these three guys and how they will face off uh, yeah. with the americans so they uh -huh. need to be really they need to be up there and be at their best if they want to yeah, you know progress you know in in, uh -huh. in in paris 2024 because i know they're going there to all win but you know it's yeah. the best prepared athlete and i just want to thank you again for this this collaboration and we want to continue to do this because we know it's yeah. good for the sports where we can sit down and we can discuss these guys i know and take take the you know it apart and say what we think about them and their preparation leading up mm -hmm. to, to this big event okay there's any part in where you'd like to leave yeah. with us sir yeah man as, as usual you know you don't know we are youtubers you know who are the people them to like the video guys viewers and subscribers like the video share to get this out there so we can hear other people's opinion on these athletes um definitely and also subscribe to both of us because we're here we're doing track content you know we love track and field definitely. we might not be doing it full time but we're, we're doing track part time mm -hmm. you know definitely so the subscribe you guys will definitely get yes. updates and on the latest mm -hmm. in track and field yes you don't know so that is it for me mm -hmm. <laughs> you get me subscribe yeah. people do the right and subscribe yes. mm -hmm. get us out there yeah. And let me and let me just say before we leave that um we didn't write down anything we were just talking from our brain and the little that we know about track and field so as we go mm -hmm. along you know don't pay you know in much attention to sometimes we might get the name like off we might get some you know the times when they run and and you know people's name we didn't write down anything in any book we were just talking off the top of our head to see the more we do this is the better we will you know become at this this is just the second time we are collaborating like this and we want to do a lot more in the future and do like a live so you know continue to mm -hmm. subscribe to the channel and just you know touch that subscribe button and the notification bell and so that mm -hmm. every time we release a video you will be the first to be notified, notified. all right yeah blessings peace yeah. typical to real yeah man blessings my brother like a kangaroo we're out yes out <laughs>